That right there is an electric airplane. It's the Pipistrelle Velis Electro, and today I'm going to try flying it. Well, actually, the today you see here is a different day, when I was going to fly it, but the weather turned bad on us. So this is now another day up here in Hulleftio in northern Sweden. This is becoming a kind of clean energy hub. It's the site of the huge battery factory Northvolt, and it's an area that produces lots of renewable energy. So it's fitting that Green Flight Academy launched here last year, becoming the first commercial flight school in the world to use an electric aircraft as its basic trainer, as far as I know anyway. This is Johan, head of training, and Cecilia, operations manager. They have conventional aircraft too for longer distance flights, but today we're focused on the Pipistrelle. We're back in Hleftio, finally the weather is nice. I've tried a couple times this past year to uh, get up in one of these things and try flying it. Uh, it hasn't worked out because of bad weather today. It's cold but crisp and beautiful, clear skies, looking frosty and perfectly northern up there. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of a, a flight lesson, my first one uh, in the Pipistrelle Velis Electra. So let's get up there and see how this thing flies. So here goes a different kind of cockpit video. Let's do it. All right. Sierra Nevada Echo, wind two six zero six knots, runway two eight, right turn off, clear takeoff. Two eight, right turn, clear takeoff. Sierra Nevada Echo. Press the pedal all the way in. Yeah, nice. Uh, just hold the brakes and then you push the power all the way up. Hold the brakes, power all the way up. And then we see we're getting max power. We have no enunciators and then you let go of the brakes. Just release the brakes and then release. we take off. There yep. we go. Okay. Yep. And then you push a little bit on the right pedal. Hold the stick with your left. With left, right? Yeah. And then you see the speed increasing. Yeah. And you just ease the stick backwards. Stick like that. No more airborne. Nice. And this thing just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. It's amazing. It's so quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a sports car. And then you can retract the flaps. So you just push the button and push it all the way down. And then uh, you can decrease power to 48. 48. Probably gonna need quite a lot of rudder in there. 
Let's see if I can land this thing. circuits and I have to say, this plane is just a dream to fly. Johan told me the biggest thing to watch for is that it loves to glide so much, it's possible to overshoot the runway, and if the battery is low, that could get tricky with the power needed to go around and try again. 
realistically you can fly around 30 to 40 minutes on a charge. Not really very much, so it's a matter of getting used to the energy management, which is unique in this case. Time to do one more landing and we'll stay on the ground this time. Oh, great, I had a great time. Landing himself on the first point. I want to fly it again as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Green Flight Academy's main offering is a course complete with housing at the university campus in which student pilots from all over the world can go from zero flight experience to a commercial ATPL license in around 20 months. They're also starting to offer other courses including basic PPL training. I'll stick a link in the description where you can go and find out all about what they're doing. Holeftio Airport invested about 200,000 euros into the power supply and charging infrastructure here. A handful of other airports in Sweden are looking at how they can help facilitate electric aviation and potentially other alternative fuels in the near future. So Hulefteo Airport and Green Flight Academy are really pioneers here. And here's hoping this is just the beginning of flight training on electric and other non-fossil fuel aircraft. It's pretty fun to be here for the very beginning of a new era in aviation. In Hulefteo, for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.